Okay, so let's get moving. Come on, Zach. So bringing your shoulders up to your ears, roll them around. Hi, Rodney. It's getting started. And we turn your chest, so it round, your back rounds, and then open. And then big step. Back the other way. Ah, a bit of coordination. Can we do one forward and one back? Not the braiding gear. Let's do it back in the opposite way. So one forward and one back. Alrighty, taking the arms wide. I'm going to sweep the knee in and out. Stay balanced. Keep going. In. And we switch to the other side, so coming in, moving out. Can we get a little bit of height on that? Hi, Jane M. That's it, so sweeping in and out. Okay, we're going to go a bit wider with our feet, a little bit of turnout through our toes. We're going to bend the knee and push the bottom back. And then do that on the other side. And do it again. Rotate your shoulder. Always think of your shoulder coming towards your opposite knee. Your shoulder towards the knee. We're going to turn our head. And we twist and look behind our shoulder. Notice what you can see behind you each way. That's it. So turning your head up towards the ceiling. Can you go a bit lower? Bend your knee. And last one on each side. Alrighty, bring in your feet about hip width. Sweep the arms up, sweep them down into a squat. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Adding in a rise onto tiptoes. As we hold the tiptoe, we're going to circle the arm and then drop. So we lift, hold, and circle backwards and then drop forwards. Hold the balance. Test it by circling the arms and drop through. Then hold, breathe out. And do it again. Walk through, tiptoe, circle, and two more. And final one. Okay, well done. I'm going to open the arms, a little bit of softness in the knees, and lean out to the side and then plie down. So we lean and drop. Lift, lean, open, drop. Lift, lean, open, hold, two, three. Good, and lean, open, hold again. Lean, last one each side. And final one. And release. Okay, getting warmer. Let's come down onto our backs. Okay, so you can bend your legs. Your knees up to your chest and then tap down. Breathe out, breathe in. So level one, we're going to stay with the head on the floor. Level two, we're going to roll up. See if we can balance with the feet off the ground. Level three, open and come back in with the leg. So choose your level. Try to keep your chest lifted when you're at the top. 
and point your toes. Whichever version you're doing. Let's get our feet into it, especially if they've been stuck in shoes, boots or trainers. Okay. Do two more. The final one. Okay, next up we're gonna roll onto our front. So hands just slightly wider than your shoulders. We're gonna lift up and then lower into our cobra. Breathe in as you lift out as you come down. Now I want you to point your toes quite firmly as you do the lift and squeeze your buttock muscles and then allow them to soften. Inhaling as you lift, tune up, exhaling as you lower. So depending how your back feels today, you might push it a little higher, if you're having a bit of a flare up day, then just working within that range of movement that works for you today. Twice more. Here comes the rain. Five to one. Alrighty, and then from here we're going to meet up in our downward dog. So if you can lift your tailbone in the air, just slightly wider than your hips. Let the heels press down. Just use this as a little bit of breathing space for your day. So close your eyes, let your head go floppy, relax your neck, breathe into your belly. Your belly hang loose, pull the breath, you're going into your belly, coming out of your belly. One more deep breath. And then if you can take a walk with your feet towards your hands, we're folding ourselves in two. We're going to bend the knees and come down onto our backs for some core work. I want you to slide your fingertips here into the curve of your back. Reach the opposite. Reach the leg out and back in. Level one. And then for level two, start with your knee here, just above your hip. Put your toes. We're going to flex the toes when we're in and point the toes there when we're on the way out. Third level, feet above the hip. Adding opposite arm away from the leg. And you keep your chest and your collarbones open. Are you all right there, Zach? Are we having coordination issues? Are you good? Opposite arm and leg. <laughs> one more each side. And final one. Alrighty, bend your knees, hands here on top of your knees. Just close your eyes and I want you to massage your lower back against the ground, circling your knees around, tuning into how your back is feeling today, giving into gravity. As we Circle around and then reversing back in the opposite direction. And last one. Okay, good job. We're going to roll ourselves up, have a drink. Now's a good time. You can find some weights. No, this is the one we're going to use. Then. Okay, do you want to get some weights? Oh, that's a big one. You're going to go with that? Ideally, two. Yeah. Alrighty, so if you can bring your elbows back and then open, or you just squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. So you feel a sense of pressing your blades towards each other and then coming back in. We're gonna tiptoe rise as we do the squeeze and move to the middle. And let's do that again. Adding some reach for the next level, straightening your arms. And if you can see yourself in your screen, 
have a look at the height of each side. Back, go like this first. Bend your arms. Hold them like plates. <laughs> They're too heavy. <laughs> Why don't you get the purple ones? You get those purple ones. Third level. We're going to stay balanced and then rotate. Go to the middle. Squeeze. Now, can you keep that squeeze between your shoulders when you're doing the turning? that again. Well done. And we got two more in there. And last one. Okay, good job. We're going to roll the shoulders, still holding the weight. And I'd like you to go for a walk down a tightrope. Heel toe, or you can do it on tippy toes. Testing on balance. Welcome the wobble on the knees. And then we're going to tiptoe backwards. Lifting up. Shoulders squeeze and press the blades down. And do it again, coming forwards. Looking like you've got a, a book on your head. Lengthening up the posture. And relaxing off. Well done. That's gone for an actual tightrope. <laughs> Okay, so grab a drink, have some water. Alrighty, let's get down onto our backs again. Some more core. So, let's come down onto our backs. That's it. And then if we slide the fingertips again in the curve, pull your belly button muscle in for me. Now watch the feet, quite close with the feet, crossing at the ankle, like a ballet grand batman, but lying down, Pilates style. Now as you lower, can you keep that imprint on your hands? Point your toes as you come up, and then coming down. Now you can move your feet a little further away, Makes it a bit more challenging on the core. You just notice where can you get to over time, work at straightening the legs. It does get tougher as you get a bit lower. Just gonna milk that bottom position. Oh, groaning going on from Zach. Hang on, where are your legs gone? <laughs> can we do two more? Do that little hover just off the ground, just a couple of inches. And final one. Is it a Interlace sting? through your fingers. Is it a crime? Point your toes. Loving you arch the back. Like I do. Stretch. If it's a Breathing crime, into your belly. Breathing out. Guilty of loving you. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, can you find a stick? We're going to roll over to our side. If it's a crime, then I'm We're going to use it to monitor posture. Guilty of dreaming of you. We've got our head, shoulders, what tailbone against the stick. What can I say? Lift up from your After waistline. If you can try and you get your feet just at the true. front edge of the mat, your way. and then can you clip but I'll your, feel just the same. your top one? So we're just holding a Maybe few I'm right. inches off Maybe the ground, we'll flex the feet and come down. Like I do. so the aim is to keep that top leg hovered as you keep the waistline hovered. Flex feet and come back down. Let's try that again. Level two, we're going to keep the legs in the air. We're going to scissor 
one forward, one back, and then do that the other way. Flexing the feet, coming down. Let's do it again. So we hover, one forward, one back, and down. Pointy toes as you do it. Really reach into your feet. Now is your head still on the stick? Is your tailbone? Twice more on this side. And last one. And rest off. Okay, good. So let's give that a go on the other side. Great for working our inner and outer thighs. Jitsu. Oh, like a scissor kick. Yeah. Okay, so let's bring our ourselves over and feet forwards. You can lift from your waistline, point your toes, hover your top leg, and then can you squeeze that bottom leg up to meet it? Keep the waist lifted, flex, and come down, pointing into the big toes. Let your head rest into your top arm. Let your head sort of nestle down into that. That's it, up arm. Next level up, float both the legs in the air. And this is a forwards, this is a back. Keep the upper body nice and steady. Point through your toes quite firmly. With a really good reach. And is the head still on the stick? Is the tailbone still on there? Your chin is going to lengthen through the back of your neck. I'm going to do that a couple more times through. Notice how this side feels in terms of strength compared to the other side. The so last one. Alrighty, resting off. Up to eat it. Here comes the rain again. Yeah. Okay. So do some curls. So working on on the party pack. Roll down and then come back up. You need a strap. Put that under your feet. Breathing in on the way down. Breathing out on the lift. Notice my arms are up over the top of the head. And those of you who are doing more advanced now, you can add some body uh, weight over the top of the head. Gosh, the rain is coming down heavy here. <laughs> We're going to do that times. The last couple. And final one. Okay, we're going to lay down on the ground and bring our right knee up to our chest with the leg across. And use the hand to push the knee down. your opposite hand, put pressure on that knee, nudge it down to the floor and just turning your head to look over your back shoulder, pressing your back shoulder down, breathing deeply. Alrighty, we're going to roll to the centre and if you can use this leg just to leave yourself back up. Can you find your stick? We're going to do some lucky lunges next. Okay, so you can pop the stick here behind your back 
and nice big stride. So we'll take one foot forwards, tiptoe on your back leg. Wriggling the feet apart as we come down. And you go low, bending this front knee. Now, if you can see yourself in your screen, try to get this thigh parallel to the floor. And your knuckles and lower back together. You're going to straighten out the front leg, keeping your tailbone tucked under as you drop again. So coming down as you hold, can you straighten your back leg a little? And then coming up, straightening into the front leg and bending into the front knee. We're going to hold, breathe. Alrighty, so from here, we're going to drop our back knee on the floor and unhook the toes at the back. Now, this may be enough of a stretch for you, or if you want to go more advanced, you might bring your stick down on this front leg side. And just see if you can get a hold of your back foot, bringing your heel towards your bottom. Often that back hip will sort of go on a bit of a, a wander back. What's that, Zach? You can touch it. Yep, yeah, that's good. Alrighty, let's release. Now, as we come back up, we're going to flatten our feet like that. So we've still got the same leg at the front. We want to get the feet parallel. So both legs are straight. To lean into it like this, and the hand on the same side as the front leg. We should just apply a gentle pressure on that front thigh. So, mid thigh with the hand. That's it, and just leaning forward. We're aiming for a sort of flat back posture. So, again, if you can see yourself in your screen or use your stick to help monitor the positioning until you get that good old stretch in the hamstring on that front leg. Alrighty, let's bend into our front knee and we'll take a turn and do it around this way. So we want the other leg at the front. Let's work on our lucky lunges. We're gonna bend into our front knee as we come down. Wearing up the hips. Can you get that front thigh parallel with the ground, that bottom hand into the curve of the lower back, straightening out the front leg, testing our balance as we come up and down. As you hold, can you lengthen your back leg away? Breathing in on the lift, breathing out as we lower. Lengthening out through the back leg, Using the stick to monitor the posture and then allowing the back knee to drop on hooking the foot at the back, sinking the hips down for our first level. Advanced option, bring our stick to the front leg side and then picking up the back foot, heel towards the bottom. And Zach is demoing the pose when you're not desk bound all day. The heel is easily on the bum. Alrighty, let's release. And let's move into the hamstring stretch again. So if you can, get your feet again parallel. And then we're going to lean into it. We want the pressure just kind of on that mid thigh. Breathing into the stretch. Now is your tailbone and your head still on the stick? Ready, resting off. Give your legs a bit of a shake out there. 
Now's a good time. I'd like to have a drink. So make sure you keep topped up with your water, especially if you're playing a bit of catch up today. I'm going to move down into a plank position next. So coming down onto the forearms like this. And we're going to take our knees back. Really you want the shoulders and the bottom sitting about the same height, tucking the tailbone under slightly. And from there, we're going to come up to our hands and then down to our elbows. So we lead from one side, down, and then lead from the other side. Now, I want you to think about your shoulder posture as you keep doing that. So you're pressing your blades down away from your ears. Now you can either keep going with it on your knees or you can do it like this from your toes. But I really want you to tune into your posture and your shoulders so you're not hunching the blades forwards. You're keeping the blades slid down your back. Last couple. Final one. And then from here, we're going to meet in our downward dog. So, tailbone up in the air. Allow your belly to breathe. Closing your eyes. Relax your neck and shoulders. Hold ourselves in half again, walk the feet towards the hands, tucking the head in, nose to knees, then come down onto your back. Hands around the back of the neck, and you touch your opposite elbow and your knee together. That's it. Your toes, level one, level two. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Level three, straightening the leg. Breathing in for two, breathing out for two. And last couple, inhale, exhale, one more, breathe in, breathe out, good job, collapsing optional at the end. Okay, let's take a stretch for our glutes, right over left. And can you pop your hands just here at the back of your left leg? So use your hands to pull in, use your elbow on the right to push out. And that bottom bent leg, we're going to straighten up. For advanced version, we're going to see if we can bring our nose towards our ankle bone. Thereabouts. And let's give that a go on the other side. So left over right. Put your hands just around the back of the right leg. Use the elbow to push out. Pressing the shoulders down. Breathe. Zach's there already. Extending that bottom leg up. And can you get your, your nose and your ankle towards each other? And let's release off. Okay, good job. Coming up to seated. And you pop your hands just here behind you. And keeping your fingertips pointing forwards, we're going to roll the shoulders back, straightening the arms like this, and then allow them just to get into a bend. And that's it. So straightening, lifting your chest, and then dropping. Level one, level two, we add some height up through the hips. We're going to hold for a few seconds here and then back down. Let's go easy if you've got any neck and shoulder issues. Find a level that works for you today. Those of you more advanced, we're going to straighten the legs out. Two, two, three, and straighten the 
straight legs and back down. Can we do that twice more? Pushing the ground away. We've got even pressure in the hands. Final one. Well done. Coming down onto our backs. And we're going to curl into a shoulder bridge. As you hold at the top, can you float your toes up on one side? Flatten your foot, float your toes up on the other, get your hips level, and then roll back down. Let's do that again. Coming up, level two, we float the leg off the floor, bent leg, and then switch to the other side, keeping the hips level. Now, where you place your foot can make a real difference to these. If your feet are really close in, you're not going to activate the hamstrings as well as if your feet are a bit further away. But then going too far can sort of compromise your back. So find what works for you. Straight leg for more advanced. We tap and back in. Straight leg for more advanced. Tap, coming back in. So curling, can we get that segmental movement happening through our backs? Do that twice more through. So final one. Alrighty, well done. So rolling down, extending single leg up hand on your car can you point your toes as you do it just merging that leg towards you as you extend the bottom leg down for level two pointing your toes more advanced option would be to bring your nose closer to your knee so choose your level and then coming back down and let's Switch that to the other side. So start with one leg bent, one leg straight, opposite hand on the calf. Can you point your toes? So over time, working towards straightening the knee and straightening the bottom leg for level two. Keep pointing the toes, toes towards the knee, the more advanced option. Three. Alrighty, resting off. We're going to slide our fingers towards our heels and come back down. So level one, sliding the fingertips along towards the heels and coming back down. Level two, we're going to do it with a single knee raise and then lower. Single knee raise on the other side for level two. Level three both knees and lower, breathing out on the lift, inhaling on the way down, two more, and final one, alrighty, rolling to your side, coming up with your feet wide, We're going to turn our toes out over on this side as we switch into a triangle pose. So over here, angling in at 45 degrees. Now try to just lean sideways. Imagine you've got a pane of glass in front of you. You're going to bump your nose on it. So try and just go sideways, bringing this arm over. Because if you can see yourself in your screen as your arm on a bit of a diagonal here, try and bring it up and over. That's it, a bit more if you can. Oh, we've lost a Zachary. Uh, we're going to bring this arm over the top. Bring this arm back. Bend the knee over here. Put this hand behind the foot on the floor. And then we'll bring the other hand down to the floor. So we've got one hand either side of the foot. And we're going to turn. Allow the hip just to drop a little bit. And we're going to keep turning. And bring the other arm up. 
watch it ground away with the hand that's on the floor. Breathing into the stretch. Alrighty, and then we bring the top hand down and our feet nice and wide. Keeping the feet wide. It's up to you how far you take it. Do what feels safe, what feels a bit comfortable, more bearable. I'm going to drop the head down and have a look at the world from a different view. Your head is easy and flat. Push your body weight back into your heels, just rocking back slightly. And then forwards into your toes. Back to your heels. Back into your toes. Alrighty, and then from there, if you can in a little bit and let's give the triangle pose a go on the other side okay good so nobody's trousers are split it's always a good sign we're gonna angle in again over down to the side and don't forget playing the cornflake game Chris was my uncle and he, he did this sort of move and just yeah revealed all pants from behind as his Black trousers split into. It was a comedy family moment. Alrighty, so we're going to bring this arm over the top. You can get that arm back by your ear. Bend into this knee. Take that hand behind the foot. This one down. We're going to keep turning. Looking up towards the top hand. Allowing the hips to drop a little bit. Breathing deeply. Oh, we've lost a Zachary. So we're going to come and have a look at the world from a different view again. Down through the middle of the legs. Wide. Do you want to push it a little further on? Back to your heels. Rocking forward to your toes. A little stretch. I'm going to take a sit down. The feet out wide. So, iron out the mat. I do think I am a bit OCD about mats. But anyway, arms wide. Take hold of your foot or your shin or your ankle as you bring this arm over. Arm back by the ear. Two, three, and then back up. I'm going to point the toes when we're here. And then flex them as we go into the lean. Two, three. Breathe in. What's that, go back? You can touch the other hand, yeah. So over time, bringing that hand down. If that's got easy now, we can scoop that arm at the bottom away. That's it. So pointy toes. And then flexing and more advanced, we scoop that bottom arm away and bring the head towards the knee. appropriate and you want to nudge it on right just ooh, a little bit more on each side so last one each way you're nearly there the final one alrighty let's give our eyes a a stretch, you can come down onto your front, taking hold of your foot, heel towards your bottom, knees together. So level one, we'll keep the thigh bone on the floor. For level two, notice my thigh bone is now lifted. I'm nudging knee off the floor, the hip bone down. Let's give that a go on the other side. Heel towards your bottom, knees together. So more advanced, we add some height on the thigh bone, but keep the hip bone down. Squeeze your buttock muscles. Get a more effective stretch that way. All 
Alrighty, let's release. And we're going to come up, finding our downward dog again. Now you can either stay with your basic downward dog or try adding just a steady lift up. How much height can you get on that back leg? You point your toe up to the ceiling, have a look up at your foot. What's the height looking like? Sometimes it can be different to how it feels. And then slowly lowering that leg with control. And let's give that a go on the other side. What's the height on that leg like? Reaching your toes up, pushing the ground away with your hands. Now we're going to give the piriformis stretch a go next. So if um, you've not done this one before, if you've got any um, tricky knees, I want you to come back to the glute stretch. So if the glute stretch feels more doable, then stick with that. Um, but you're welcome to give this one a try. So we're going to take the knee down the middle of the mat like this and then angle it off at 45 degrees like that. We'll do this one in stages because it's a fairly advanced technical stretch. And then the buttock here, we're going to drop it down as if it's got to go on the floor, but just slightly hovered. Watch my back leg. That's going to wriggle across behind the body. You can do that. And then let your chest lay down on your inner thigh. Now, sometimes if we're not quite in the right position, it will really catch the knee. You want your body weight off to the side, off to the right side. So just shift your body weight into that right hip. And actually, that's where we want to be feeling the pull. For me, when it's tight, it feels like that muscle really sort of grips. So if that's you today, I want you to sort of breathe into it and just ask the muscle to soften and let go as you exhale. Breathing in and softening, letting go as you breathe out. Just do that one more time. Deep breath. Alrighty, let's come up. I know that was pretty tight after the marathon. Let's just settle it back down. So heel in the groin. We're nearly there, Zach. Come on, you can do it. So we're going to angle out just at 45 degrees. That's it. And then wriggle that back foot across. And then keep your body weight shifted over to the left side. Noticing how that hip is. Is it a bit grippy? Keep breath in. And as you breathe out, just softening around the muscles there. Ask you to let go. Just having a little chat with those muscles around the hip. Just soften and let go. And one more deep breath. Alrighty, let's come up to standing. So from here, find a little bit of more space and we're going to use that to give our pecs a stretch now. So if you can, twizzle your fingers backwards and stride your inside leg forward. So the arm is now behind you, bending into the front knee. And we're going to turn, look behind, look over your shoulder and rotate your body in towards the middle of the room. Now, as you glance down, as your back heel towards the floor, try and press that heel down, straightening the back leg. And then let's release. And we're going to just inch the fingers slightly higher up. Benzi knee at the front. Push that back heel down. If you can turn, look down towards that back heel. Is that back foot parallel or is the heel turned in? Let's release. Wriggle the hand a little higher. Bending into the front knee. Keeping that arm behind you. Keeping your fingers twizzled backwards. Twizzle's a good word, isn't it? All right, let's release. And we'll give that a go on the other side. So turning the fingers backwards, back to our twizzle. And our inside leg, we want to go 
toe forwards, bending into our front knee, we turn and look behind the shoulder. Breathe, how's that back foot looking? And let's release and walk the fingers up the wall, keeping that arm behind as we bend into the knee, turn and look down, breathe. And just taking the fingers a little bit more up. And I thought we'd finish off with a bit of foam rolling. Has everyone got a foam roller tonight? Yeah. Okay. We've got one. So grab a roller each. So let's foam roll our glutes. If you can, I'm going to have a sit on your roll. I'm going to place right over left and lean off to the right side. You're going forwards and back on the roll and just noticing if there are any little cheeky, knotty, tight spots, pushing them out and just digging in. Sometimes it might be on the outer side, you might drop to your elbow if you feel it needs it more on the outer part of the hip or is it in the main part. Uh, Rodney, if you've not got a foam roller, maybe do a little bit of foot massage. Let's give that a go on the other side. We could do another glute stretch, it's up to you. So forward and back. Again, just digging in more deeply. Where's the knotty, a tighter spot? I wish you could spend a bit more time on this. I think it's particularly knotty. Next up, we're going to roll down our IT band. So side of the leg, common uh, tense spot in runners. If it gets too much overuse though, it can end up with a runner's knee. We don't want that, so this is a good way of preventing. So we're going to bring uh, this foot over the top and if you come down onto your bottom elbow and starting from your hips sort of dragging your bottom leg along the roll and just nice and slowly nudging down towards the side of your knee and then back the opposite way. You're going to come up to the side of the hip down to the side of the knee. Can be quite uncomfortable if it's new to you. Okay, can we give that a go on the other side? So again, if you bring your top leg over like this, just getting into gravity with that bottom leg and just nudging along the side of the knee and slowly nudging back up along the side of the thigh notice how that's feeling over your hip and back the other way and just do that one more time Good job. So have a seat. You can crisscross your legs. And we'll finish with a little stretch of our, our neck. So if you can bring your hands just here around the back of the head, pop your chin down, just close your eyes by a little bit of pressure. Just at the back of the head there. Just 
with one hand now, like this on the top of your head. Let it lean and gentle pull just to the side, opening the side muscles and release. And let's do that over the other way. So gently pulling down, breathing into the stretch. Alrighty, so I hope that's made a, a difference to your day. If you can hit your unmute for me, have a little check in. How are we feeling?